Okay, so one of the last things to remove before I start doing the switches and the lamps and the wire harness um, is this ball trough and bracket. So just literally, it's just simply a matter of unscrewing them. All of the optos uh, all have got connectors on them. So not that worried about that because this whole unit can come off. Here's a little bracket. And this ball drop, which has got a bit of damage here. I'm gonna see if I can what I can do to repair that, otherwise I might have to replace that full whole ball drop, which would be a pain. Okay. Let's see um, what we can do to do that. So when I remove this as you saw you can see there's some damage here. So what I'm going to try to do is because they're out of sight it's not that bad it's under the play field but I'm going to create something that is going to be able to stick onto this uh, with some acrylic uh, which I have and I've made one already so I thought I'd show you guys how I did it. it seems to be working really well so it's effectively just like an angle of polycarbonate which can fit nicely in there and I'll put a um, washer on both sides and I'm going to glue this on but the problem you have is that you need to bend this so this is acrylic you can also use polycarbonate polycarbonate is actually stronger but this will do for what this is actually just trying to do which is you know just to create a, a nice bond so what you're going to need for this is a bit of acrylic or polycarbonate, a blowtorch, and then just a couple of bits of wood before I heat this up. I'm actually going to take the plastic protective cover off. Again, I don't really care if it gets a little scuffed. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is find a spot where we're going to bend it a little iron somewhere there um, and it's actually not not that hard so what I'm going to do is just line it up so that there's enough space to bend this over the over the back the key thing here is that you, it's the stuff's not fun to cut it's quite easy to sand but it's not that easy to cut so you know you've lining up roughly just over a centimeter there um, so let's just go and pop that on there. Um, then turn on the gas. Now try and make this flame as small as you can. that just bends over and then what you want to do is to get a nice bit of flat wood and try to get that as right angle as you can on the molding give that a little bit more heat test how that fits in there. And 
and that fits in quite nicely. Now what I need to do is to trace out with a pen what shape I want this to be. And again, you're just getting the shape of this now. You want to try and be generous because your hole is going to go in there. The more acrylic that you've got, the better. And then you just need to get the height right. So I've put a little dot on there. This stuff's pretty easy to break in a snap, but what you need to do is when you want to snap this is you want to just get a line and score it. So what I tend to do is to find the line that I want to cut, get a bit of needle nose pliers, squeeze tightly and you can snap. Um, to get it closer before you start sanding and reduce the amount of sanding, you can take anything sharp and score a line of where you want it to, to crack. I've got a drill, drill bit here. Then take a pair of pliers and bend it up the other way. Bend it away from where you've scored and you get a nice line. If you don't score it, you end up something like that. So, so now this is ready to go and get sanded. You can either sand it by hand or just on a um, sanding belt of some sort. So I'm going to go and do that and I'll see you in a second and then we're going to drill the hole. That's the, the most tricky part. Okay, so here we go. You can see this is now being shaped uh, using a sander so that I can get those, that perfect now. What I'm going to do is just go and clean these off a little bit and this one I want now is going to fit on here on this side. It's, it's a little bit on the fatter side but it doesn't really matter if it doesn't fit perfectly. So what we're going to do is just line it up on this side. So get that in its spot. Trying to maximize the amount of acrylic on the side. Okay. And then I've got a drill, four and a half mil drill bit in there, which in inches you can work out with Google. Now, it's really important you don't try and clamp this and you go really, really slowly. Okay. The way you start is really critical because it will determine where you're going to go. And you've got your drill really going slowly. And you'll see at some point it'll try and bind. At that point you want to let go lift your drill bit out. Again, just There you go, you can see it's starting to bind now. And it generally binds when it starts to get close to going through. And this is the critical point, okay? If you go too fast here, you will crack your... your acrylic. And now you can see that it's going through. What you can do is now that you've got a hole through the other side, you've got something to aim at. But I tend to think that if you just keep going, this one's not deep enough yet, but just gentle. Yeah. 
Every now and again, a little bond. You want to just keep cleaning the drill bit. And then at some point, you can literally just go and do it by hand. It's just not worth trying to mess around with a power tool. It's actually pretty quick. You can just go through like this. I'm just going a little bit at a time. And there we go. Hole's done. Big enough to get your screw through. Now what we need to do is to um, go and bond these with glue onto the rack. So what we're going to do now is we are going to clean both sides of this with al alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. Um, that just gets rid of any grease. Then we're going to get this Bobby Smith, Bob Smith Industries BSI Instacure uh, Super Glue. It's very, very thin. Um, I've done a test um, and you can see here it is bonded this together and it's nice and clear. But at the end of the day, if it's not clear, it's not the end of the world. Um, but let me go and do that quickly now. Uh, we get a bit of isopropyl alcohol on here, clean it up. That's how dirty it is. Might do it another one given that how dirty it was. Now the only problem with this glue is it is really sticks instantly, but it's an insta bond. So you want to be careful because you want to get it in the right place. And then once we've got it in place, we will go and clamp it um, with these just to keep it in place, just to be 100% sure. So this one here is for this side. We're going to do this one first. So that's going to sit on there like that. Got the glue. Get a bit of little bit of glue out. I'm literally just going to clamp this in place. So that's clamped in place on that side. Now 
Put it back on. Get it in place and squeeze. Making sure you obviously don't stick your fingers to the ramp. Okay, so those are now in place. And I'm gonna leave them there for a while. Okay, so clamps are off. And you can see it's good enough. It's not perfect, but you can see that there is a good place to put the screw through now. The acrylic will create a, a, good, a good anchor point. So we're gonna get this back in. I've just given this a bit of a wipe with alcohol, so it's nice and clean. I haven't bothered to flame polish it or um, notice it or anything. I've just literally just got the, the dirt out. The other thing is that the uh, scoop, I've given a bit of a polish and a clean, so that will go in and that looks nice. So that goes in, I believe, like that. So let's get this in. So let's start by screwing in the scoop. So when I put this back in, the ramp back in, I'm putting washers on both sides um, to protect this ramp from having the same thing happen on this side. So we'll get the spacer in. We might need to just give the spacer a bit of a nut. So I'm just going to give the spacer, just get, it has got these little Bits that stick up that generally hook into the ramp. But with, this, with the, using the washers, we, we're not going to need that, and it actually just get in the way. So just cut those off, and then it goes. Not too tight, and here we have the same setup with the washers that were there originally. Go and do those. really good okay so that's in place now we'll have a look at maybe see if we can get the crate going have a look at the crate and see what needs to be done there thanks very much for watching stay in touch subscribe hit the alert button and feel free to share it on Aussie Arcade or on Pinside until next time